welcome everyone to my youtube channel in this video i am going to be showing you how to navigate a document using headings in microsoft word these are questions that professionals in the academia and business proposal writers usually ask and i have been receiving some of these questions hence i decided to make this all in one video watch to the end to learn how to insert a table of content automatically in your microsoft word watch to the end to learn how to link a table of content using hyperlinks to different parts of your microsoft word documents now let us get into it right now so but before we start that right away i would like you if you're just visiting this channel for the first time please do well to subscribe to this channel the link to subscribe just hover around the right hand part of this video you will see the subscribe button click on subscribe button and let me know in the comment section where you're watching me from so now this is a document i have already prepared and this is the usual way many of us would prepare documents title all the parts of the document it has the dedication it has the acknowledgement introduction and all that but then what i'm going to advise you as a writer to do is to step one ensure that all headings in your work are navigatable and how do we do that so for instance this is the title of my work I am going to come to headings and I'll click on heading one. So that makes it heading one. Then the next heading in my work is the dedication, followed by the acknowledgement. Because of time, I'm just going to make this very fast. Now, in literature review, take note that under literature review, there are some other subheadings. So what I recommend you do is instead of making it heading one, you make it heading two. So heading two, and then the next subheading will also be heading two. So, and then the next item here is actually a main heading. So you give it heading one, and that's how you change or make all headings in your work navigatable now take note that of course you see the formatting and style changes you can always go and customize these styles to change their fonts however we have just ensured that they are now navigatable as we can see and how do you know they are navigatable you go to view and then you see in this part you click on the navigation pane immediately you click on the navigation pane can you now see that all your headings have been outlined here and then if i click on table of content for instance it takes me to the table of content if i click on research methodology it takes me to that part of the work if i click on um, abstract it takes me directly to the abstract and then if i click on um, a subheading under literature review you see it takes me to that particular subheading under literature review so having explained that to you you can see that we are now true with question number one we have answered question number one and the next thing now is how to insert table of contents automatically in microsoft word so now that we have automatically um, we have made our work navigatable we will now come to the table of content now you would agree with me that most people just come to table of content and then they begin to they just begin to type and um, type the they just begin to type introduction and then they go down to type um, the abstract and then they print the work and gradually try to put the inside the table of content now that is not the best way to actually do uh, table of content the best way to actually do table of content is to automatically in that table of content and you can actually automatically do that once you have made your work navigatable so how do i do that the first thing i recommend you do is insert page numbers so what i'll do i'll go to insert click on page numbers 
I usually love my page numbers to be at the bottom of the page. So I click on the bottom of the page. As we can see, the page numbers are now on all over the documents. So but if you take note of something, the page number is also on the title page. I don't want the page number showing on that part of the work. So I can double click and then I will say uh, in the design uh, ribbon that shows there, I could now click on check on different first page so doing that removes the number from the first page but every other thing remains the same having inserted page numbers on your documents the next thing we are now going to do is to bring automatically the table of contents and how do you do that you go to references the, the, the top left corner there you see table of contents I always recommend you use the automatic table too so if I click automatic table to watch the magic so I click on automatic table 2. Can you see what has just happened? It has generated a table of content based on the headings. I didn't have to write anything. I didn't have to type anything. I didn't have to write anything. I didn't have to type anything. Everything just appeared based on how the work had been arranged based on those navigations that we had. Uh, programmed earlier so and you see how this also works I can also navigate from the table of content so let's say I want to go to the statement of problem all I need to do is um, I could just click on control and then click on statement of problem it takes me to statement of problem so let's say I go back to the table of content I could just click on literature review click on hold control down and then click on uh, literature review it takes me to literature review so you see how beautiful this works so this now answers our question number two which says how to insert table of content automatically in Microsoft Word so now let us answer the last question which says how to link a table of content hyperlink to headings in Microsoft Word so why this question is important is some people forget to make their documents navigatable so let's assume that you already have the table the list of contents like this you type it yourself so I'm going to copy it and then I'll come to my documents I'm going to uh, create another page and call this page uh, table of contents content manual for hyperlink so what I would do now is I'll paste that particular um, manual table of content I have generated what we want to do is we want to see how to link table of contents to a particular part of the work so all we do now is you for instance it's the abstract you 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 highlight abstract abstract and then you right click and you click on hyperlink so once you've done that all you need to do is you locate it in the work and then you say abstract that hyperlink should take someone to abstract you locate it in the heading and then you say okay so can you now see that that abstract is now a link same thing you do for every other item of your work so let's let's quickly do that So we have gotten to the last one. So now you see everything here now is now a hyperlink. So all I can now do is I could just click on, con I could hold my control down and click on statement of problem and it takes me to the statement of problem of my work. Or I could let me go back. Uh, I could just do the same thing as clicking on research questions, control research questions and it takes me to research questions. So you can see that um, we have now answered this question about how you can hyperlink words. You can do it for table of content. You can do it for any other thing in your work. So having said that, this work used for an example was a recently published work by Dr. Ogbomo and myself titled Librarians Awareness of Content Creation Tools for Professional Branding in University Libraries 
in Delta State. To learn more about this work, you can visit ResearchGate. The work is on ResearchGate. You can search for Librarians Awareness of Content Creation Tools for Professional Branding in University Libraries in Delta State. Work written by Esoswa Ogbomo, PhD, and Silver Saibona. So once again, we say thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. And this is just about everything so instead of scrolling down now i could just go to my navigation pane and go to research questions and then this so thank you for watching this video please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section share with your friends and subscribe to this channel thank you